All right, guys, it is giveaway time yet again at Foot Trading, and it is another monster giveaway. We're giving away yet another Xbox Series S. Alternatively, if you don't like Xbox and you don't want to play Xbox, you can get £250 to put towards a PlayStation or whatever else it is that you wish to get. You've just got to subscribe to enter. What do you get for your money? For £10 a month, just £10, you get yourself access to Tier 1, which is buying and selling prices for our fodder flips, for our special cards, for our icons, and the weekly trading guide and club stock guide that are handwritten by me. Tier 2 gets you all of that, plus our live sniping filters and our fluctuations area. This live tracks the market 24 hours a day, allowing you to target your buys. And Tier 3 is £20 a month. It gives you everything on that website, but it also gives you access to our Discord bot that direct pings you with the deals that you can go out and buy. It literally says, there's a deal on the market, go and pick it up. It's an amazing, amazing tool. So yeah, get involved, give away Xbox Series S. Let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Do not forget, check out Foot Trading. You've literally got a matter of hours now. I think the latest we're extending it to is the 2nd of March because people have asked they don't get paid until that day, so can they subscribe then to be entered into the giveaway? So make sure you check it out. We have got dozens of new subscribers in the last week or so that have already made seven figures plus on the game. We had a guy who subscribed to us like 10 days ago. He's already made two and a half million from trading on the website and the investments and things like that. So make sure you check it out. It's really, really easy. And you guys see it in live action in these videos here. So we started off three days ago trading to Team Lee Akanta with just over 100,000 coins. Once I come to sell everything that is on my account currently, we're going to be somewhere in around 1.1 to 1.2 million within three or three and three bit days of trading is what I'd say. This video sort of leads on from the one that you would have seen this morning. Uh, this morning it was me showing you guys how we sort of bounced from 150k to about 330k as you can see. Um, with just using bronze pack method and the SPC grind and stuff like that. This video here is specifically what you guys should be doing, what I'm going to be doing to make coins over the course of the next 24, 48 hours. So first things first, at 6pm, at any point, if these cards are down at like 20k and you can get them with position changes and, and consumables on them, buy them. Really, really buy them. It's just a standard thing that you should be buying all the time. Any promo card that is fodder price should be bought. But they're starting to rise now, so you may have missed a boat on that. But Team of the Weeks are a very, very good thing to be thinking about. If I were you guys, what I'd be doing now, especially if you're mid-tier, mid-tier budget, I would be looking at the cards like this Munayin card you've got here. Is this goes off? Um, the cards like this Munayin card that you've got here. He currently, I paid like 18k for him. He's up at about 21, 22. I would mark down the price of all of these Team of the Weeks now. And I'd be looking at tomorrow evening and seeing what the new Team of the Week brings you and how you can make profit from that. So if you know, for example, that Munayin was 17, 18k achievable as an 85 rated this week, if there's an 85 rated inform from a major league again next week, and he's again at 17, 18k, you know it's a good buy-in. That's how you do well in FIFA, by utilising knowledge that you've already had, knowledge you've already got, and then reapplying it and reapplying it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. It's as simple as that. But let's start talking about low budget. This is quite important because a lot of people have slacked on it massively as we go and sell one of the cars we are talking about on the stream about low budget, a lot of people slacked on it, and low budget right now, if you're not trading with League SBC cards, you're an idiot, it's as simple as that, League SBC has gone through the roof today, and the last couple of days, because everyone's stacking packs up, with those awesome su uh, silver upgrades, so four bronzes, gets you three rare silvers, I think it is, 71 to 74 rated, so everyone is using those SBCs, to stack their club full of silver cards, full of gold cards, and they're re-repeating and rinsing over and over again, League SBCs, um, in order that they can go, okay, cool, I'm going to have 50 packs stacked up now for the next promo. So if you're not doing the same thing, you're crazy, okay? But if you're not going to do this, and if you're not going to do that, then you should be trading with those cards. Now, bronzes themselves are down, but little tip for you. Rare bronzes and minor leagues are always a good place to make very quick, very easy coins. Whenever you get to here, always just have a little compare price. So rare, for example, Pro League, this guy here. We've got a 300 coin profit on him. Because people have to use these cards to complete the SBCs. And just keep an eye on the rares from those major leagues. It's important because they do go up. So this guy will double our coins on. They do go up. The commons, I wouldn't be touching too much on the minor leagues. Um, I really wouldn't be bothering with them at all. But the rares, I would. Um, it's a no-brainer to go and do that. But the real money here is in the silvers. Because what's happened is, a lot of bronze packs have been opened up. So they've come down in value. A lot of the silver untradables have been opened up. So they've just sort of held where they are. If anything, realistically, they've gone up. 
because people are using those silver cards now to finish off league SBCs. You may well go and pack yourself, I don't know, eight or nine players from the NBS Pro League, but you're still going to need that final two to compete that team. And so they've done really well. The example I just gave a minute ago was the Bundesliga. These cards were 450, 500 coins only a couple of days ago. And now they're pretty easy to pick up on bids and snipes for less than that. I mean, even that card there is an anchor. I don't know who the hell thought that was a good idea to sell that of an anchor, but he'll, he'll make me profit either way. Um, and they're pretty easy to pick up when they sort of just sit here and chill. And all you've got to do really is list them up for a little bit of time. So this guy here, happy with him. If we get him now, cool dubs, easy. Check this one here, 450. They just sit. Like, they're literally sitting here for ages. And this is how I know people are slacking. Because I'm literally picking these up with no stress, no pressure. And it's just, okay, cool, let me just go and buy this card. So if I show you these guys here. This guy here, Palulu, it's a meh card. He'll make me a decent bit of profit. It's a 750 there. I'll probably get about 900 overnight from him if I wanted to. We're listening for three hours. It's a decent profit there. This Dakali, he's just sat there for how long? And the cheapest to have been in the market right now is 1,800, 1,500 coins. So we'll do that. 1,300, he should sell and double my profit on him. Horn here, 1,200, 1,100. Now, if all of you go and buy Bundesliga, you're going to screw each other up and it's a pointless waste of time. What you guys need to be thinking about is, okay, cool, where do I put my coins elsewhere? Well, if it works for the Bundesliga, there's a very good chance that it works for the other four leagues. Make sense? And if the Rare Bronzes works for the smaller leagues, then the chances are it works for the other eight leagues really, really easily. Silvers work anywhere, realistically, uh, but Silver Commons in the minor leagues are the ones that I like the most. Now, this guy here, for example, just picked him up. Good undercut on him either way, but he's got an anchor on him. So I'm going to look at like, something like 1,700 coins on him. We'll list him for 12 hours. He'll sell because someone's going to want to randomly use him for, a, um, for an objective. But he will sell. I don't know why someone would put an anchor on him. It makes no sense to me. Um, but that's what you should be doing if you're low, low budget. It's common sense. It's a no-brainer. Um, and that's how you're going to make a lot of coins very, very easily. I'll be back in a second with the mid-tier and high-tier advice that I can give you guys. It's very, very easy. Very, very profitable. I'll see you soon. All right, so mid-high budget. I'm going to say something a little bit controversial here. And right now, I wouldn't bother with Icons. Um, icons are good to trade with. They always have been. If you're high, high budget, primes and mids at a higher tier could do quite good. But I wouldn't bother, personally, at all. But I would be on high alert. I think the R9 leak was a, was a, was a hoax. I think the EA weren't, were trying to weed out their, um, their leakers. But I do think we're getting towards a time now where we are going to get two or three very high-tier Icon SPCs. I think EA know they need to come, and there's rumour that they're coming. Um, and I'd be keeping a massive, massive, massive eye on icons at high budget. But you could do mid-budget. Because some of these icons don't sell for much at all beyond discard price. In any way, shape or form, they are selling for next to nothing. And I would be just keeping a, a, a little casual eye on them. Because if an SBC comes out, and that SBC requires anything like... I don't know, let me just go and buy that for one. Um, requires anything like an icon in that these cards could do pretty well. They could do pretty, pretty well. But I would treat icons like special cards. And that's really where the profit is right now. It is in special cards. I've just gone and bought that for Ron purely because he's got Hunter on him and would probably sell with the position changes and whatever. But I'd be more inclined to be looking at these cards invariably, invariably, in terms of special card trading. So you guys, I've told you guys a million one times about special cards with Shadows, Hunters or whatever. So the filter that I normally use, 10, 20, 30... And you go and flick through these. I wouldn't bother with this at the moment. Unless you've got the website. Because we do the pricing for you. It's an extra bit of searching that you don't really need to do per se. Um, what I'd be doing if I were you guys. Is I'd be looking at the last few sets of special cards that we've got. I'd be heading over to Footwiz. And I'd be taking a little looky looky. At the Road to the Final cards. You might want to look at these guys here. Um, you may even want to look at the Future Stars cards. Um, that came before them, and I'd be looking at current team of the weeks. Because a lot of these cards don't tend to get too many chem stars put on them too quickly. They've not been around for very long. So Smalling, for example, um, I just showed the chat a minute ago, you can pick up Smallings pretty cheap. You can pick up Smallings uh, with, chem with shadows on them, about 22, 23k. Now, right now, he's down. He's down a little bit. But it, all in all, 25.5 and 25.750 is a price he's selling for currently in the middle of the day, well, in the evening, when when the game's really, really hot. Right now, that's that's very, 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 very cheap. At night time, overnight, someone like Smalling goes for 27, 27 and a half, easily. Because there aren't that many Smallings, as you can see, on the game with shadows on them. There are very few. Current team of the weeks, last sort of promos, last couple of promo cards, tend to be brilliant to trade with. And I'm keeping a long, hard eye on them. If you guys are... Or anywhere sort of mid-tier, we're talking 500k and above, 
you guys should really be keeping an eye on these cards. Look at Bowen. Bowen at 27k. You can easily pick these cards up on bids and snipes for like 22, 23 and make 3, 4k a card. You can control the market on these cards pretty easily. I think it was Dan Juma I saw earlier on had a massive gap on him. And I've seen a couple of people use this card. But Dan Juma's um, team of the week card. It's 84 rated, I think he is. Is this 84? So you can see his 84 rated card here, right? Cheapest is 19,750 on, on the market right now. And I'm pretty sure you could pick him up prior to this a lot lower. A lot. Look at that. You can pick him up for like 15k. So people will list this card up at 15k with the position changes on him, with hunters on him, with shadows on him. And it happens quite consistently, especially in that period between 6 and sort of 7 or 8 o'clock. It's a really good time to buy. Buy them on mass. Buy loads of them. Let the market rise again. Sell them again. Same thing happens every single day. Just keep recycling it over and over again. That is how you guys can make a lot of coins very easy at the moment. Low budget, League SBC. High budget, special card with position changes, chem styles on them. And keep a little one eye on those icons in case we do finally get an icon SBC that does require icons. There is a chance it comes. Just bear that in mind. But treat icons now. Go for the lower end if you're going to trade with them. And treat them like special cards. Don't treat them like icons. There's so much supply of them and there's so little demand for them compared to normal years. That you don't want to be like, oh, well, it might arrive by 20 grand overnight. It's not going to happen. But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.